All right, I asked you guys what, why you thought so many people were complaining about the new rogue class for uh, one D&D. And boy, howdy, did you deliver. Uh, the general consensus is that, you know, it's not doing as much damage. Assassination, uh, especially for the subclass, is lackluster. The, the damage overall has dropped. And I know a lot of people also don't like the, the cunning strike option, um, you know, where... You can give up a, a D6, you know, when your sneak attack dies to do something. Spoiler alert, that's completely optional. However, I might have an answer for the lack of damage. And that is a subclass feat for the Assassin subclass. Uh, it's called Assassin's Poison. Basically, at third level, you gain the ability to apply special poison uh, twice per long rest that only... only rogues of the assassin subclass have access to because you're an assassin you should be better with poison than anyone else it's kind of your job anyway um the coating lasts one minute and the poison causes the target to take 1.5 times the rogue level f each of their turns for a minute uh, the reason for that is so that you can't like try and stack it, uh, or when it runs out, you can't just immediately put it back on. It's got to have some kind of balance, right? Everything does. Um, the applying of the poison, of the coating, um, it's going to be a bonus action no matter what. It's a bonus action. Unless you do it outside of combat, like you know you're about to barge into a room and start combat. Coach your blade, barge in, boom. It's done, it's ready to go. However, at the 7th level, you can infuse the poison with magic. Because why not? They gave the thief access to magical stuff, so the assassin should have at least a little bit as well. Doing so uh, lets you imbue the coating with one of the following uh, damage types. Either fire, cold, or lightning. Um, this makes it so that you can damage undead, which uh, I didn't write it because I thought I'd run out of room. Uh, the it doesn't originally affect uh, undead because undead don't have a circulatory system. Poison's not going to affect them. It's just it just makes sense. However, putting fire, cold, or lightning uh, as the base damage for this poison will make it so that it can affect undead. Uh, not cold so much, obviously, because most undead have a resistance to cold, but fire and lightning, sure. And the base damage now has a damage type, which is going to be necrotic damage. Uh, that way it also can affect the undead, well, and once again, less so. Um, but the coating now does twice the, the rogue level in damage per turn, once again, for a minute. Because we still have to try and keep it balanced. Now at the 14th level, the only change to it is you can make this coating four times per long rest instead of the original two times. Um, but it also does three times the rogue level per turn, still for a minute. Um, I think this will give a steady damage base um, for, for the Assassin Rogue, so anyone who feels like it's lacking in damage, I mean, you're not wrong. Um, the, the poison, it doesn't stack, like I said, but you can use it in tandem with like a sneak attack. Um, if you want to sneak up on, on an enemy that's already being attacked by, like, your paladin, you'll get your sneak attack, you'll do your sneak attack damage, and then you'll also poison it. Now, this might still seem a little broken to, to your dungeon master if you show it to them. Um, a, a workaround for that is giving it a con save. I don't want to do that because I feel like this isn't going to be overall a lot of damage. Because even if you take your rogue all the way up to the 20th level, that's still only a maximum of 60 damage per turn, which is a lot. But by the 20th level, you're fighting stuff that has, you know, hundreds of health. It could get upwards of almost 1,000 or more, you know, depending on what you're fighting. So even then, 60 is not a lot in the grand scheme of things. So I felt this was balanced enough, but not everyone's going to agree with me, obviously. Um... This idea came from one of my my viewers, uh, Smaugboy. Uh, big shout out to them. Thanks for giving me the idea of something that does damage over time. Uh, if you guys like this, let me know. If there's other subclasses you want me to try and make stuff for to make them seem like more fun or more playable because you feel 
uh, Watt C ruined them or whatever, you just let me know. Um, and I'll get to work on that. This was a lot of fun to come up with and write, and it didn't take me a whole lot of time. So I'm all for making more of this. Uh, if you don't like it, tell me why. Uh, and I'll try and make some changes to future subclass features. But if you liked it, let me know. Give me a like and subscribe. I greatly appreciate it. Uh, thanks for watching.